over 70% of the planet's surface is ocean, and today, it is estimated that a third of all fish stocks are overfished, with another nearly 60% being fished to the limit of sustainability. But this problem can be solved with comprehensive global fisheries governance, featuring clear rules and consequences for everyone involved, from the moment fishing vessels leave port to when catch is sold. It all starts with the flag state. A flag state indicates where a vessel is legally registered and is responsible for ensuring a vessel is following all relevant laws and rules, from the treaties it is party to and the coastal and port states where it travels. Once at sea, vessels are likely to be fishing in the waters of one of the many regional fisheries management organizations that cover 95% of the ocean. RFMOs were created by international treaties to oversee management of fisheries, but many have yet to agree on effective rules to ensure catches are sustainable or to prevent the bycatch of threatened species. Even when rules such as fishing quotas are in place, they aren't always followed, and rarely are there meaningful consequences for those who break them. Putting science-based management in place is key to sustainability. But the story doesn't stop there. Many fishing vessels transfer their catch to refrigerated carrier vessels that transport fish to port. Known as transshipment, this often occurs at sea with little oversight, making it easier for illegal catch to enter the supply chain. Finally, catch is unloaded in a port state. Not every port state follows consistent international rules to ensure that vessels that enter and use their ports are not carrying illegal, unreported or unregulated catch. Ensuring all ports follow the same rules, along with building cooperation among maritime authorities, is key to stopping illegal fishing and the many other illicit activities tied to it. From flag state oversight of vessels to RFMOs establishing sustainable catch limits, compliance regimes and protection of threatened species, to improving monitoring of transshipment and to port states' controls and global cooperative enforcement Improving fisheries governance is both achievable and critical to the future of life on Earth. For more information, visit pewtrusts.org slash international fisheries.